Hi, I'm Dawn Watson for 27 East, and we are here at the entrance to the third annual Art Hamptons event. Tonight's opening reception is to benefit Longhouse Reserve in East Hampton. I'm excited to go in, aren't you? Let's go. This is your third annual Art Hamptons. The third year, it's really grown spectacular. We have this year we have $300 million in paintings here on display, 7,000 artworks representing 600 artists wow. right here. Is this the biggest art show in the Hamptons? Oh yeah, it's one of the largest in America. Wow. And do you have anything to weigh in with, Cindy Lou? Oh, just I'm very pleased. I'm very proud of Rick and uh, the whole team worked really hard to put it together and I think it's turning out real well and we're happy to see a lot of our friends here and people enjoying the art. What are your expectations for this year's Art Hamptons? Uh, well, I think there'll be a, a lot more sales than last year when the economy was down. I think we're in recovery. I think art is a, um, a wonderful asset if you have the money. There's something here for everybody to decorate your wall from 2000 to uh, 2 million. So I think sales will far exceed the 5 million last year. Perfect. Yeah. And the most important question of the evening that I'm probably going to ask anyone, where are the really hot single guys for me? Oh my God, they're all over the place. They are all over the place. I've been checking them in. You will find them. Look in the, um, in the center lounge. Great. Direct them to me. I want to ask you ladies, what do you think it takes to succeed in this world? I think you have to be, love what you're doing. You have to give it everything. I mean, you have to be committed and go for it. And if it doesn't work, then you move on to something else. But it, you can't hesitate. You have to get to a place where I'm doing it, you know? and I'm not worrying about where I go. I'm just going to do this and then see what happens. And what about you, Tula? Follow your heart. <laughs> we're all trying. What would you do? I mean, we're very close right now. What would you do if I just laid one, one on you right now? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing for an aspiring artist um, to do or how to pursue this, this craft? I think they should follow their heart and, and do the, do the due diligence and research to know their craft, but they have to do what is unique in them, like the artist you see here, and that will separate them from other people rather than pursuing what other people have done. That, that little bit makes a huge difference. So, sir, you look like a seasoned pro. What do you expect out of this uh, year's Art Hamptons? I think I'm making him really mad. You look quite handsome, by the way. Do I? Yes. Okay. Yes. That, that's good. I don't normally, but it's, you know, it's an art night. You know, you get out of your, you know, paint-covered clothes and, you know, put on the, on the, on the duds. If we were to play a game... <gasps> Games. Would you subject yourself to a truth or a dare? Um, actually, that's a good question. Um, the adventurous spirit in me, I would immediately say dare. All right, excellent. But don't give me the dare right now. I was just going to say, so if you, if we did the dare, could we say like maybe you paint al fresco? Uh, yeah, I'd do that. All right. Yeah. I think I think there would be a crowd for that. What is your favorite uh, poison for an uh, for an opening? My favorite what? What's your favorite poison? But generally rum. I usually prefer. I, I only review galleries that actually have a bottle of rum on hand for me for openings. This is why I love you. <laughs> Who is the most unusual or interesting artist that you've ever met? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> but the most unusual, the most interesting, that would have to be Robert Dash. And, and tell me why Robert Dash. He lives and breathes his art, uh, his surroundings, his home. Uh, he, he, he is the art, you know, and he's a phenomenal artist and he's a phenomenal gardener and he's just, he lives and breathes it.